Hello and welcome back. Today you will see how to use Reaper with drums the same way you use Ableton or Fruity Loop. Here is an example. I tell you right away that you can make yourself a template. You can then recall the settings very quickly as you are seeing here. In Reaper there are several ways to achieve this. Here we see what offers the possibility not only to distribute media on multiple audio tracks but also to print the stems. Uh, important, in this video there is also a bonus. Follow until the end. First and foremost, create a MIDI track by double click or Ctrl T on PC and Command T on Mac. Click on Route and check Master Send and by the Track Channels pull down menu, choose a number of channels equal to the number of instruments that make up your drum kit, including variations such as open or closed hi hat and so on. For this video, I choose 16 channels. Now, let's see an operation that is very familiar to those who use Freddy Loop. Inserting the sampler for each sample and loading samples, even those with many layers. Instantiate Resample Matic 5000. Click on it to open. Minimum volume set it to negative infinite and leave velocity maximum to 127 and velocity minimum to 1. With these values, Resample Matic 5000 will choose which sample to use according to the volume, which represents how hard the drum is struck. As you gain more experience, you can start playing with these values. There is not you must, there is a like or dislike. Note start and note end assign to them the same value. They tell which note on the keyboard activates the drum, in this case the kick. I choose the 36. Every time I hit note 36, which is a C, the kick is activated. I keep the default parameters and close the session. Holding Ctrl on PC and Command on Mac, left click, the effects window opens. Select the sampler, right click, copy selected effects or Ctrl C on PC and Command C on Mac and paste as many times are the channels you have set and then as many drums as the drum kit. With Ctrl V on a PC and Command V on Mac, paste for 15 times. The total is 16. Select now the samplers one by one and by F2 assign a name to facilitate everything, as well as the start and end note. For each instrument, click on List, Add, load the drum samples, in this case the kick. If you only have one file, use that. If you have multiple files, which is a layer, select them all and click Open. By clicking on Sort RMS or Sort Pick, they are automatically reordered from quieter to louder. If you want to sort them in reverse, click Reverse. When the samples are loaded, click on List so you return to the main panel. Right-click, insert multiple tracks. Create as many tracks as they are the instruments in your drum kit, plus one, as the letter will be the folder that contains the orders. Excellent for compacting the display. The drop-down menu goes up to 10, but just type the number in and you will create as many as you want. I insert seven. Not 12, because many of the samples must be grouped. In a minute you will see why. And the one track is the folder. If you enter something in named, 
it will name them in the same way, differentiating them with an increasing ordinal. I am fine with the default settings and then OK. Select all tracks except the first one, and then click to place them all under it, turning it into a folder. As you can see, it's much easier to compact everything. At this point, you can type the names in. I start with kick, then the snare. Here the three snare samples will be grouped. Snare left hand, snare right hand, and general snare. The same goes for toms, where the click of the tom, tom hike, and tom low go to the same track. Later in this video, you will also see how to pan to differentiate the toms on the sonic horizon. Continue so to the end. Select the last track and holding down Shift, select the first track. Keep holding down Shift, click on Route and drag the mouse on the selected tracks and release it. Routing on all tracks is automatically created. Leave the default routing to the first track. Second track, you get it through channels 3 and 4. The third track, channels 5 and 6, and so on to the end. Now we have all the instruments. Let's listen to them starting from the kick. The snare. the toms. By pan, it is determined where the tom should appear. I want the tom high slightly on the right, the low tone quite to the left. Inserting a MIDI item, double click, and you can see the instruments assigned, starting from the C2. C is assigned to the kick, as we have already seen. Now I can play them through a MIDI connected keyboard. And I can record. Of course, you don't have to redo all this work every time. When done, save as track template. Select all tracks, track, save as track template, and tap the name. OK. In a new project, if you need this drum kit, track, you can find it in the names list. Click and here it is, ready for use. This allows you to use the mixer and then rise or lower the volume of the single instrument and insert VSTs on each of the drums channels. If you wish to assign a different pitch to the instruments based on the key pressed, simply assign the instruments more than one note of your choice. For example, I set the kick from note 30 and F sharp to note 36. Drop down menu mode, freely configurable shifted. And the kick samples is shifted not only on different nodes, but modulated in pitch according to the values set in pitch start and pitch end.
by default, it ranges from negative 69 to 6 semitones. I set it from negative 10 to plus 10. The velocity on the note is automatic. The operation we have seen till now and the nomenclatures are the same that you are using on Fruity Loop as well. On Reaper, the sampler is called a resample Matic 5000. On Fruity Loop, it's called Sampler. The system is ready for immediate use, but if you want to record the audio tracks from MIDI, select all the tracks. Click on the record button of any of them and arm them for recording. But if you put it on record now, you wouldn't record anything. So right click on any record button of the selected tracks, record output, record output mono. You could also choose a stereo, but since the samples are mono, I choose mono than recording. Let's listen again. Having chosen mono, the positioning of instruments has been put back to the center and so I can now set the position by the pan of each channel. If I had chosen stereo instead, it would have kept the positioning set on MIDI. But for any correction, I would have had to reprint the tracks. The drum stems are now ready. In all of these, there is a problem with the hi-hat. When played in a pattern, the long sound must be choked by the short sound, since the hi-hat closes. Instead, this doesn't occur. To achieve this, on the open hi-hat sampler, check Obey Notes Offs. Now, add a native plugin called MIDI Choke. Drag it over both hi-hats, both all the hi-hats. The sound of the closed hi-hat, in my case note 42, must choke the open one. Always in my case note 46. From this moment, the closed hi-hat chokes the sound of the open one. Support my Patreon or pay me a beer if this tutorial was useful to you. The links in the description box. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.